Hi there guys, I hope you have had a good day. Now Anthony Joshua has spoken about the potential challenge of Deontay Wilder. This is what he had to say. He is another challenger. Offer still stands when he's ready. And he's man enough not to lie. Be real. It wasn't nice when they were trying to tarnish my name. It'll be good to stop the PR stunts and get a fight underway. So that is what Anthony Joshua has had to say about the potential challenge of Deontay Wilder. He is still open for that fight, but... Obviously at the moment there are things that are more important, like Kubrat Pulev, like a potential Usyk fight, or Tyson Fury, so Deontay Wilder is far in the future for Anthony Joshua, or perhaps not even there at all, because he still has to get this situation sorted with a Tyson Fury, which, let's be real, probably isn't going to happen, because Wilder is talking about opponents for January, or so we believe, so Wilder isn't even going to be fighting Tyson Fury, so he's two years away from a world title opportunity, because Let's be real, if Dillian White beats Alexander Povetkin, or even if Povetkin wins, the winner of that fight should be the one who next fights Tyson Fury as a mandatory. It should not be Deontay Wilder, despite him being ranked number one. I don't even know how he is ranked number one, but he should not get a world title opportunity, definitely before Dillian White. Of course, if Dillian White beats Alexander Povetkin, if not, Povetkin gets that shot. That is the way it should be. Wilder has to earn his next opportunity, even at Anthony Joshua, even though Joshua wants to give him the fight, because it's a big fight, entertaining, value for fans, but still, Deontay Wilder needs to earn his opportunity at a world championship. There is no way he should just get a big fight, just because he's Deontay Wilder, and therefore, he gets a shot. It doesn't work like that. There are fighters who are more deserved of a world title opportunity, who will fight the best to be the best, like Joseph Parker, Andy Ruiz, fighters like that. Joe Joyce I guess as well, he is in the mix also. Those kind of fighters, they are willing to fight one another to get to that point. So why should Wilder be any different? Why should he not fight Andy Ruiz? Why should he not fight say someone like a Joe Joyce? Or even Joseph Parker, those are the fights that, that should be happening. He should be seeking out those kind of fights. But you can guarantee who he'll fight in January or February if he cannot get Tyson Fury back in the ring. It will be someone lower down the rankings, it's someone like a Duhalpus or someone like that, maybe even Dominic Brazil, those kind of fights, they are the ones that Deontay Wilder feels comfortable in, so those are the fights that he will take. In my opinion anyway, I might be wrong, I hope I am, I'd like to see him fight Andy Ruiz, I'd like to see him fight Joseph Parker, Alexander Usyk, those are the kind of fights that would be very interesting, so if he does fight them and proves me wrong, great, I hope he does, but ultimately this Anthony Joshua fight was one that could have happened, but didn't. So he does have to earn his opportunity now because he's no longer a champion and the fight for Anthony Joshua is at Tyson Fury or Alexander Usyk but first it's Kubrat Pulev at the weekend so we cannot get ahead of ourselves. There is still a fight in the way of Anthony Joshua moving on to a potential Usyk fight or Tyson Fury. I'm not going to lie, I would like to see Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. I wanted to see it for Undisputed because they were both undefeated American WBC heavyweight champion and a British undefeated heavyweight champion in Anthony Joshua, both concussive knockout punches. Who knows what could have happened, that is what was so interesting about that. Now obviously Deontay Wilder has taken a loss, so has Anthony Joshua, but the difference is AJ has avenged that loss to Andy Ruiz Jr. Deontay Wilder has not. He didn't even get back in the ring and try. Now I'm not saying that's down to Deontay Wilder, it might have been, but I think that if you do not take an immediate rematch like that, then that does kind of prove that Deontay Wilder never believed he could beat Tyson Fury in the third fight because he did have an opportunity to take that fight. He missed it for whatever reason, but if you really want it that bad, then you make the fight happen. If the fighter wants to fight, then it happens. I mean, Andy Ruiz was saying, it's got to be 50 million if they make me go to the UK for the rematch. He was trying to get out of that rematch with Anthony Joshua, but they forced him to do it because that was his obligation. Tyson Fury could have been forced to fight Deontay Wilder again. In fact, Tyson Fury was the one who wanted that fight. He was consistently asking for new dates, but still, it just didn't happen. So you have to wonder, how badly does he want that third fight? Does he want to fight Anthony Joshua instead? Is that the route he will look to go down? Because if he hasn't fought Tyson Fury this time, is he going to do it again? If he can get Tyson Fury back in the ring, Will he do it? I guess that could be one thing that stops him from fighting Tyson Fury again because obviously the WBC can support him. The WBC have already said they will back Deontay Wilder. He deserves this third fight. So they're going to back him. But 
it's okay them backing him, they can't fight for him. So if he does not want to take that Tyson Fury fight, they can back him to the hills. But that fight won't happen just because Deontay Wilder does not want it to. So therefore if he's going to decide to go the route of Anthony Joshua because he knows AJ will fight anyone and he will fight Deontay Wilder, but still, AJ has potentially three fights lined up. Obviously Kubrat Pulev at the weekend, which will be dealt with quite soon because that's coming up quickly. But then Usyk, then Tyson Fury, then maybe a WBA mandatory also. Because by the time Anthony Joshua has dealt with Pulev, Tyson Fury, maybe an Usyk fight, maybe two Tyson Fury fights, there is going to be another mandatory because the last WBA mandatory was Alexander Povetkin in September 2018. So that's going to be coming around as well. That is the thing I guess with Anthony Joshua having so many belts in the heavyweight division. There are so many mandatories that come with that. Obviously those mandatories deserve their opportunities. Deontay Wilder needs to earn his if he wants that shot. Get higher in the WBA rankings because of that is going to be the next mandatory of Anthony Joshua after the IBF, after the WBO. Because obviously Alexander Povetkin 2018, that was the last WBA mandatory. So Anthony Joshua will have to face one in the coming years. Why not Deontay Wilder? But he has to earn that position by fighting Ruiz maybe. One thing that is interesting is when Deontay Wilder said all of those opponents that he wanted, those five opponents, Anthony Joshua was not one of them. So does he even want the Anthony Joshua fight? So where is he? He's in no man's land. He doesn't want to fight Tyson Fury. Maybe he doesn't even want to fight Anthony Joshua for a world title opportunity. So where does he go from here? I mean at the moment Deontay Wilder is number three in the WBA. Above him is Alexander Usyk, then Trevor Bryant and obviously WBA world champion or the regular champion is Manuel Char. Anthony Joshua is the super champion. So I guess Deontay Wilder is not all that far away from being number one in that governing body as well. He's not going to fight Usyk. So Trevor Bryan, is that a good fight? I mean, if he fought him and won, he would be number one ranked. So there is a clear route for Deontay Wilder and it would be the traditional way for him to get there by fighting someone like Trevor Bryan. I mean, Ruiz is in the WBA rankings and probably by fighting him, he could be pushed to number one. Ruiz is at number five, so if he was to fight him, then he could make a case for being the number one challenger to the WBA champion. Is Wilder going to do that? Probably not, but there is no reason why it shouldn't because they are both on the same platform, so it's an easy fight to make. But having said that, Deontay Wilder knows that he can fight someone like Trevor Bryan, or he can just wait out for Anthony Joshua to give him a world title opportunity because he knows Anthony Joshua will fight him because he wants to fight everyone. He wants to fight all of the big names in the heavyweight division just to test himself to see how good he really is. And that Wilder fight will always be a very interesting one for Anthony Joshua. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Is this a fight that you would like to see? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.